Hey guys, this is KT. How are you guys doing out there? Um, today I am going to show you my setup uh, to breed my freshwater prawns. Uh, here I have my 40 gallon uh, fish tank. I got the water uh, in there and cycling for a good four or five days now. Uh, the temperature is about 82 degrees right now in this tank. Um, I fill it up with water. I uh, add the water treatment and I let it cycle for about four or five days. So, just pretty simple setup. Just like you would a tropical fish tank. You let the water cycle, let it age a little bit. And uh, once everything's good, then you start adding the, uh, the fish. So everything's good. I'm going I have uh, a 300 watt water heater and I'm using the Whisper 60 filter here and I have my uh, netting substrate ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there the netting substrate is about two inches apart and I got one two three four five six layer okay and it's about a one by two Okay, there you go. The netting scepter is in. I have, uh, down here, I have a good four inches of space from this PVC pipe up to this netting. So down here, this will give the male prawns uh, plenty of room to hang out down here. And that's where he's gonna be hanging out and court his females and mate. It's a good area, good space for them to mate. And once they mate, the female will uh, hang out up here. Okay, so, but once they mate, he will protect her for a few days until she's ready on, to be on her own and then she'll take off and then he'll mate with another prawn. Okay, so let me uh, make an adjustment on these air stones here. You wouldn't want to sit on top of it. Okay, so I make a little adjustment. I put the air stone down in the middle here, uh, towards the front, because I like to have the water uh, cycle from the back to the front. So that way it gets to the filter uh, and get everything moving. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so you put the prompts in and there's not much to do. Make sure they have good food, good water circulation, the water's clean. Make sure you clean out the filter uh, weekly. And uh, once condition is right, they will do their thing. There's not much you can do, but to make sure they have good water, okay? Good feeding, water temperature should be right, about 80, 84 degrees. And uh, they will do their own thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the prawns in here. Alright, so I got the prawns over. They are in this uh, little container here. Uh, the container has been floating in here for about a good 15 minutes or so. Uh, and then I keep adding water uh, from the tank into here, into the bucket. So let's acclimate them slowly. And here in this container I have one male and two female. Okay, the female is smaller, so I'm gonna go ahead and release them in here. Let's see if I get them. Okay, go ahead and slide that over a little bit. So that's a male right there. 
And the females are a lot smaller. They got two females, one here and one back there. So chances are they will not mate right away. It's gonna take a little time. Uh, I'm gonna let them hang out in here and just continue feeding them, checking my water, make sure my temperature's good. Okay, the air's circulating, the water is moving, the future is working. Okay, so I'll give them a few days and then I'll come back and do a partial water change, maybe 20%. You know, just imitating their natural habitat when it rains, the river's running, they got fresh water in, and that will help uh, get them going. And uh, hopefully they'll mate within a week or two after I do that water change. Okay, so the setup is pretty simple. Same way, like I said, you would with tropical fish. Have warm water circulating. Let the water age for a few days. Four or five days will be good. Make sure you treat it and let it run for four or five days. Make sure the temperature stay stable, okay? Um, between 80 to 84 degrees. And that's pretty much it. Just don't overdo it. And get a setup like this and then do water change once a week. Uh, until they start mating and you will notice right away uh, if they mate or not because she will start uh, have eggs on her bell belly and it will be orange in color and if the eggs are fertile uh, in about a week or so it will start getting darker and eventually they will turn gray and that's when uh, they will the eggs will start hatching Okay, this is KT. If you uh, have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. Okay, thank you all for your support and to all that subscribe and follow me on my channel. This is KT. I'll see you on the next video.